everybody welcome to my youtube i'm jen today i'm going to share with you this super cute super chunky valentine um i call it a zigzag journal uh, i'm not sure if that's the proper term um it's about six inches high three inches wide and when it's not tied four inches in the chunky side um I will absolutely share future videos while I'm making it, but I wanted to show you a flip through. It is just after Valentine's Day, so I didn't make it in time, but I got this from the My Creative Scrapbook um, limited edition for February papers, and I used the whole kit um, to make this chunky little journal. There is a couple leftovers that I am including um, with this package. I'm going to be selling this on my Etsy. Um, and so let's let's check it out. Um, first up is a super cute cover um, using the papers and some of the ephemera bits. I do have to tell you it is perfectly imperfect. Um, the strings aren't the exact si same length if I can show you at the same time and the reason is um, I accidentally cut one and I didn't want to cut the other to match because I actually think we need the little bit of length um, for and you can't really tell too much so um, anyways perfectly imperfect like I said there's a lot of imperfections um, this is the first journal that I'm willing to sell I've been asked a lot to sell other journals um, I have this one that I will post on here at some point as well um, super cute same concept um, green one that I actually made last year um, so I'll get that one in a flip flip through but I thought the best one to start with would be a Valentine's Day let me know if you guys are interested in stuff like this um, to also put on my YouTube. I figured a flip through would be the best and um, Etsy only lets me do like a 15 second flip through. So it doesn't help very well So <laughs> to show all of the coolness in here. So um, let's check it out. And there are tons and tons of tuck points, pages left for journaling, um, things like that. that I think this would be an amazing... Um, wedding present, valentine present, anniversary present um, for just about anyone. So absolutely love this. Um, really quick, I'm gonna grab some of the extras just so I can show you some of these other tuck points. So these, when you see them like this, these are actual tuck points as well um, that you can tuck anything in there. Um, this one here is a tuck point as well. These are really cool. I love doing like the little the little laces that just they fit so perfectly in there. Um, so a lot of these papers I did myself as well as these. Um, I like to make like boards with all the leftovers and then cut them up and make tags out of them. These are just watercolor. Um, this is also a tuck point. It's super cool. Um, this is one of the flags in there. I loved the papers that were in this kit. Um, so it definitely felt perfect for this little journal. This one actually has a double tuck point because you can add whatever you want to the tag. And then, and I left these open like so you could actually customize them yourself or give them as gifts and customize. So a lot of things that you can do with these. This one is a tuck too. I did leave some open so you could do whatever you wanted, a journal on them. This one I actually really liked because you can tuck it under the guy, under the little cherub guy, and then um, behind this. So multiple ways you can do that. Happy Valentine's Day and she's sitting on the little thing. That was cute. This one's a tough point. Right here. Um, this one actually is open at the top so you can put a picture in there. Um, it, it's, like I said, it's not perfect. You'll see that I might have messed up a little bit on the centerpiece um, because there's two uh, signatures on the other side of this. So it's a little chunky but um, works pretty well. And then there's little extra details that you can add in there. Um, I had a lot of fun making this um, and adding all of these little different things you can do with it. Obviously, if you take some of this out, 
um, it wouldn't be as chunky. But I kind of like it. Um, I've done a couple of these journals in the past and they just, I seem to really enjoy the chunkiness. Um, there's a lot you can do with these. So, a lot of the papers, all of the papers came with it. Um, all of the scrapbook paper and then of course the white paper I did myself um, along with some of the tags. Um, a couple things in that I used to embellish, um, like this ribbon I had in my stash. Um, this also is a tuck point if you want. Um, I really liked, okay, so it's a thinner tuck point. Um, I really liked putting in this little picture in there so you can't really see too much that there's stuff to put in there. Oh my goodness. Let me find a thin one. Sorry about that. I actually ignored the fact that this was a tuck point the whole time I was crafting, um, but when I created it, I left it open so that you could put, let's just say something small in there, <laughs> like that, um, or thin, but I, I left it open mainly to see the flower on the other side. This is from my stash. Um, added some tin foil. This one's my favorite, so I made that one long. other things from my stash. This one, this whole thing is a tuck point. So you can add to it. Um, this one. Another long one if you want to put something long in there. And I am sending the extra papers as well, these little guys. Um, they're pretty cool. So you can make whatever you want. I'll tuck one here. And then this is the back of it. So then it keeps going, which is really cool. So this is the other side now. Oh, okay, so those two together. Again, like I said, perfectly imperfect. You, I can cover that up. Tuck point. This one. I made some cards out of cardboard. I really like doing that. Some tags out of cardboard. I added a little too much dimension though, so I didn't do too many of them. Little swans make perfect tuck points. I didn't do any fold outs, um, but there definitely are some that you can add to. So you'll have to let me know, do you like seeing flip throughs of these journals or do you just like seeing when I'm actually creating it? Um, and yeah, what do you think about junk journaling or journaling in general. Let me know. Um, I have other other videos coming as well, so and then this one flips. So this is one of the tags I made. Different varieties, obviously I left it open for you to add to it, add journaling, add whatever focal point that you want. Um, I put the word love on there because it fit perfect. This little girl. This one was the ephemera in there. So I think everything just looks really good together. Obviously move it around. Do what you want if you purchase this. Um, sky's the limit. But I think there's a lot of possibilities to make this an amazing journal um, for anyone in your life. So many opportunities, um, things you can do. I put a bunch in here. So all of this comes with it, um, plus all the stuff I already showed you, plus the extra papers. This one's kind of cool because um, it's got a picture behind it, but I left it open so that you could take it out and put a picture 
um, wedding picture, valentine picture, whatever you want. Behind that there's two spots that you can do that in. And then I've got this little paper. This is another spot. Oh, this one's not. Oh, but it's another tuck spot. And then, when you're all done, you just tie it up to keep it all together. And there you go. I'm going to send that to whoever purchases it. It is on my Etsy. My Etsy is just Jen's Creative with a K. Um, uh, J-E-N-S-K-R-E-A-T-I-V-E. -E. And... Um, definitely check it out there. I will be posting more. It's the only thing I have on there right now, um, but there will absolutely be more going up there. All of that will be included as well as some extra flowers that I had. So I've got some extra flowers that you can use and then some other pieces. So I've got extra tag pieces, um, some papers, and then a little leftovers of the scrap paper or um scrap book paper this one's too big but you can cut it down however you like to put it in there and then I put a bunch of these um, scallops in here for you if you want to use them for more tuck points or other things and then these gorgeous flowers paper flowers um this one does have some pink on it um when I was painting so I kind of liked that um, and then a little bit of ephemera. So there you have it. That is the My Creative Scrapbook Kit, limited edition kit for February 2023. Um, and what I created with it. And let me know what you think in the comment box below. And as always, thanks for watching.